Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend here, Razeth Retro, and I hope everyone is remaining retro. Today, I wanted to share uh, my brother's comic book collection, um, at least the ones that I was able to find. I do know for a fact he has, uh, he has some more. He didn't have like a massive collection, but uh, you know, he had a, a decent amount. Uh, I myself was never too big on comics, however... I just wanted to share this with you guys as a memory uh, for those that do like comics or even if you don't, um, you know, just to share it with you guys to see uh, what you guys might think. Um, like I said, I myself was never big on comics. However, I've always liked the cover arts for most comic books. Uh, they're always pretty neat and cool. And um, yeah, I guess we'll just get right into it. So the first one that we have here is the amazing spider-man which is the 30th anniversary issue it's in pretty good condition sean would keep them in good condition uh he would read them as well i think there was very few that he never opened but um he would read them and he would take care of them and uh, i know for a fact he enjoyed them quite a bit the next one that we have which i find very interesting is a comic uh, which was, I think, created by Jackie Chan. Uh, it's called Spartan X. The cover art for this one is just beautiful. It just looks like a epic movie from Hong Kong. Next one we have is obviously my brother's favorite superhero of all time, which is uh, Superman. I believe that might be Lois Lane on the wheelchair. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Uh, lost love or it might just be some other woman who knows uh, but he was a big Superman uh, Superman fan his favorite superhero of all time he did like others as well he was big on superheroes but um, Superman was his favorite this one is very interesting as well it's called uh, Batman excuse me Batman the Dark Knight Falls and interesting on the cover is we have Superman I believe that might be a battle between Batman and Superman. I don't know. Don't ask me because I'm not, not the expert. But uh, I found that one to be pretty cool. This one is kind of like a hardcover. This one is uh, comics, interviews, super special. Uh, the many lives of Superman. So I'm not too sure what this is exactly. But uh, it does look interesting. Uh, next up we have another Superman which is Superman the Man of Steel. This is quite cool. I like this. Long hair, nice black shirt and pants, and destroying the Superman suit with his laser eyes. End of the road. So this is quite interesting. I believe on some of these it might show the price. Yeah, it does. Sorry. 195 US, 275 Canadian. So I think back in those days, if you had about like 10 bucks, you could pick up about four or five comics. Um, so I think that's usually what he would do. He would go to a local comic store, which was called Cosmos, and there were several others, but that was the one that he would go to the most. Uh, this one, the Man of Steel. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're pretty interesting. I myself, I think I've only read one or two back in the day. Um, I did speak with my sister, and we do plan to read some of these when we get the chance. Uh, Lois and Clark Forever, The Adventure of Superman. Now, I'm not the most romantic guy, but I can say the romance that Superman and, or, and uh, Lois shared, or Clark Kent, rather, excuse me, and Lois shared was quite special and quite unique. Um, and, you know, it's not always about fighting the bad guys, right? It's also about... Uh, you know, everyday relationships that we develop and go through. Um, so that's what I that's what I liked about Superman, his human side of things, if that makes sense. And then we also have another Superman, the Man of Steel. This is quite cool as well, uh, which I have quite a bit. So I'm going to try to go through these uh, a little quicker. Uh, we have. The Adventures of Superman, Clark Kent's Gone, Who's Next, 
So, not too sure what's happening here, but that seems quite interesting. And then we have also this one here. I'm not too sure what this one is called because, I mean, it doesn't really have a name. Uh, it's just a cover itself, but quite cool. Another Man of Steel. I think he was also a big fan of this version of Superman. Superman the Man of Steel. We have some more Man of Steel. Is quite cool this is actually pretty cool and i think this my good friend the retro man randy savage would like which is superman aliens i know he really likes that movie in particular this is quite cool i i used to love when they would do like these crossovers i always thought that was pretty epic next we have I guess the regular Superman, if you want, if you want to call it, uh, the Adventure of Superman, quite cool there as well. Then we also have the Adventures of Superman, but I think in this case this is Superboy, which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, because again I, I don't know uh, too much about this stuff. I think it's like a teenager who has the same powers as Superman. Uh, Superman the Man of Steel. This is quite cool. I like this. He looks really cool here. And I think I have a couple more. Or one more actually. Sorry. So we'll finish it off with this. Uh, the, de the death excuse me, of Superman. So I do believe essentially Superman uh, you know, does perish. Um, which is sad obviously because you know. He's Superman. Uh, he's suspected to live forever but I think it gives a good reminder to all of us that regardless of who and what you are regardless of you know how much money you have how powerful you are uh, whether you're rich poor famous not famous uh, whoever you are everyone does have to go one day and for us Sean was our Superman and uh, you know we hope he is in a better place um, so we hope that you guys enjoy this. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, as you know, Sean's uh, death anniversary is coming soon, February the 1st. So I just wanted to do uh, a video, just a quick video about something that he loved, which was comic books. Uh, and in particular, Superman comic books. Uh, if I am able to find more, because I do know for a fact he has uh, several more, I'll definitely share them again. But um, thank you for, you know, taking the time to watch and, to, you know, uh, for looking at these old comics with me if you have any comments or anything you want to add or say please feel free to do so uh, with that being said i hope everyone is good i hope everyone is well uh, always remain retro and remember uh, life is like a game you decide how to play it and when to play it all you got to do is just hit the start button thank you and take care cheers